Let's learn how we can copy formulas. Before we get started, let me just delete these cells because we don't need them anymore. We were just using just to illustrate formulas and functions. I'm going to go back to the products sheet. And here I would like to enter the actual sales price. I would like to calculate the actual sales price. So sales price is nothing but purchase price plus the margin amount. So I'm going to type in equals and then select the purchase price amount, which is F2. And as I said, it's the purchase price plus the margin amount. So for the margin amount, we're going to calculate that by opening up the brackets and then multiplying the margin percentage, multiplying, I'm going to type an asterisk to say multiply, and then select the purchase price again. So what this is, is equals purchase price plus the margin amount. And I can type in enter. And now we have calculated the sales price. And for me to use the same format, I can select this cell, Format Painter, copy that. So now we have 779.94 is the sales price for the purchase price of 599.95. Now, typing this for one book was easy. But now if we have to type this for every book, it would be very inconvenient and very inefficient for us to type it again and again. So Excel provides us an option of copying the formulas. So let's try to do that. As we have seen before, how a cell's content can be copied by just dragging. Similarly, we can also drag the content of this formula cell by clicking here on this handle here at the right bottom edge and then drag it. And as we did here, you can see here in cell H3, the formula is F3, let me click inside, it's F3, which is the purchase price, plus G3, which is the margin for this book, times the purchase price. Let me just call this selling price. And Basically, we have calculated the selling price for the second book very easily with this formula by dragging it from the first cell. So what did Excel do here? When we copied the cell over, what Excel is doing is that it's looking at the cell reference that we have in the formula. And as we go down one row at a time, the row number references will increase one at a time. So here we had F2, 2 stands for the row number, and F stands for the column. And so in the row number 2, when we went down, or when we copied down one row, it became 3. So please note that the column reference does not change, but the row reference increases by 1. Similarly, the argument here G2 becomes G3, and F2 here becomes F3. So the takeaway here is that the row number in the cell references will increase by one as we go down by one row. And if we go up one row, the cell reference for the row number will decrease by one. So let's say we want to apply the format from here in this cell over to here and then we can actually double click and extend this formula all the way through and you can notice here that excel has actually copied the formula over in this cell where there is no book and that's because excel found a value here entered of product id 16 and so it thinks that there is a record or there is data in this row but we know that it's not there so we can just right click this row and delete. So we have the selling price now calculated for all the books 
very, very quickly using the copy formulas approach. This method also is applicable if we want to copy cells across the same row. For example, let's go to the employee sheet and let's say we want to sum up the values for 26 December for all the employees together. So I have entered this formula now. And if I want to calculate the same for all these other days, I can just select and then drag to the right and Excel will copy the formula over. So let's see how Excel did it. So here we said it's MW, which is a column, and two is the row number, two MW column ninth row, so which is this cell. And when we go to the next cell for calculation, you would expect all these cells to be selected. So let's go here and click inside the formula bar and you can see that Excel correctly did that. And this is again the power of Excel's copy function here and the whole concept of cell references. So when we move, when we copy cells to the right, what happens is that each movement or each cell here, we are moving one column at a time. So MW is the column reference here, but when we copy over, Excel will take the next column which is MX. So when we go here, Excel will give MX as the reference, but it still keeps the row reference as two because we are just moving column wise. So Excel will only change the column reference, will not change the row reference. Similarly here, when we go one cell further, the column references will change to MY and MY, but the row reference will remain the same. So by this way, we can actually easily add up these cells one at a time or one group at a time by just a simple formula and then copying the formula over. So as we move to the right, Excel will be adding one more column to the column reference, whereas when we go to the left, the column reference will decrease by one column.